Hey guys, Steam Deck Grenade here. Back with an explosive video. We have two terabytes on this Steam Deck. Let's get to it. All right, so in today's video, we're going to uh, be upgrading the storage in my Steam Deck. The first thing we're gonna need is the little SSD and a micro SD card itself. Also have a USB converter. This one's from my Samsung device that I had gotten like a couple years ago. So this will work. And then I have the OS booted on this USB drive. I could have used this one right here, USB-C and USB-A, but I already have this full of um, ROMs and emulators and things like that. And I also was trying to put this as the OS, but it wouldn't allow me to for some reason. But I'm going to put these things down the link in the description so that you guys can get all of these right here. I'm gonna get something that's equivalent to this. These are very cheap. And then these two, you know, they run for a good amount. But let's open this up and let's get to it. All right, so after I took off the case, I am left with some tools. Um, you guys can use iFixit like everybody else, or you can use even some Walmart tools. Um, you know, I had this for a while until I upgraded to this, but today's video we're going to use the iFixit. And now we have to open this up. We have eight screws, four in the center, and four in the corners. All right, so clearly when you take it apart, the longer screws are from the four corners, and the shorter screws are from the, the center. But now that the screws are off, we're going to open this up. All right, so that was a little more tough than I thought. I used my Verizon uh, credit card to kind of like get behind the L2, and then I just popped it, and then it just came right apart really quick. Um, before you obviously do this, make sure you completely shut down your, um, your system. And now, next we're going to move this out of the way, move this closer so you guys can see. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to disconnect um, the battery. I'm going to try to peel this up, try not to damage it too much. And then we're going to unscrew this right here. So now I've removed this one, so now we're going to have to remove this and this, and then we'll get to the next part. All right, now that those are removed, I can quickly pick this up straight up, comes right off. Have some thermal pads right there, nice. So what we need to do first is we need to um, disconnect the battery. So they say to just pull on this until it's completely taken off. Then we'll take a screwdriver, and then we unscrew this 64 gigabyte um, hard drive, which definitely is not even close to being enough. Make sure you save this little sleeve right here. So this one's uh, 4C. I guess that's the company they used. And this is only a 64 gigabyte. Right here we have our one terabyte from Western Digital, which is a really reputable company. We're we'll gonna just uh, push it down right there. And then we're gonna put this little sleeve cover right over it. And um, yeah. All right, so now that I have gotten um, this cover on, we're going to uh, quickly take the screwdriver and the original screw that we used for the original um, SSD. I'm gonna put it right back on. Screw right into place, this is very simple. Legit, this is just self-explanatory. And then we're gonna put the power right back in. Make sure it's pushed in all the way. You saw the little light up here. Now, we'll put the little spreader on, little heat dissipator. And then we're gonna screw these in. All right, now that I've screwed in these two right here, and now we're just gonna push this back down. That's complete. Now we gotta do is just put the cover um, back on the back. And then we're going to be snapping it into place. All right, cool.
<clears throat> all right so now that that's put back together what we're going to do is we're going to put in the boot drive so that we could be able to load up the OS I'm going to hold the power and the minus button all right so after you hold the power in the minus button and then you continue to hold the minus button until this but boots up right here you can be able to flash um, the actual hard drive so now we're going to do that, let this continue. Now this should only take a few minutes depending on what type of flash drive that you're using. All right, now that we're in this type of boot manager, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit reinstall SteamOS. Proceed. Let it boot from there. About five minutes later, it says, hey, you ready to proceed? You can just tap on the proceed. You don't have to use this and hit R2 like I've seen on a couple other videos. So now this is gonna boot up as if it was a new uh, Steam deck so this is going to be an awesome way to um, start off the little video here i love this little boot up that they have on this all right now i have the screen cleaned um it's just ready to set it up as if we just got a brand new uh, steam deck so i'm going to quickly set this up and i'll be right back all right, so now that I've in installed all the stuff that I need to install, I haven't updated it yet, but here's the internal drive. It says 935 gigabytes of 938 gigabytes, so that one terabyte is installed. Now I'm going to put the one terabyte SD card in. Let's go. So after inserting the SIM card, all you have to do is hit format, and then you have to confirm it. So after you confirm it, then just let it format. So then we'll just let that go. Now, I don't know how long this is gonna take. It still says it's formatting. It's been at least a minute now, um, but I'll come back when it's done. All right, so the formatting uh, has been complete. So let's maybe go down to storage. Yep, right here we have 935.3 free for the internal and 937.5 uh, for the micro SD card. So I went from uh, 64 gigabytes to two terabytes. Um, and you know what I think if I add the um, the two and by the way if you guys want to take this back off and do the unscrewing and stuff I actually noticed that you can use the case to put it down so you don't have to ruin the togglers just do it just like that perfect there's a little life hack for you so I did the math and uh, for just sixty dollars and eighty eight cents you can get a two terabyte Steam Deck compared to the 512 that you have an option to buy. The option on Steam is 649. I have two terabytes of storage, technically. So I have the one terabyte um, SD card and then one terabyte internal. So that's two terabytes in total, plus the Steam Deck itself in a nice case. I think it's an amazing deal. I mean, it's pretty simple to do. All you gotta do is just take the eight screws off, Open it up, disconnect the battery after you unscrew the four screws. Um, you then, you know, disconnect, um, unscrew and disconnect the um, old hard drive, which is this little guy. And then you put the new one in, put this, uh, the heat sleeve over it, screw it back in, screw the other stuff back in, put the tape over it, snap it back together. And I would suggest not screwing it back in until you have it all set and ready to go because I still haven't put my screws in yet. But I'm going to screw things in right now. I'm going to put my case back on and it's all ready to go. I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed that quick uh, tutorial. I know I was doing a lot of um, little quick clips here and there, but it's pretty simple. And uh, honestly, it takes a few seconds. If you don't have a camera in front of your face, you can do it really quick. And also, I, you know, I showed you the most important steps. I mean, you don't need to see me unscrewing each screw. I mean, you can see that I've unscrewed all eight screws in the back. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.